Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. We are doing an Orn update. It has been a little bit of a while since we've last done an Orn update, but I'm very excited to be back and going over all the things that we've been working on. So I still, of course, have not picked up my trash, but that's okay. You know, it's been so long that even I'm having trouble remembering, but I do know one big change that has been going on on Orn. Which is that Tin had requested me to help with his side of the island. So why don't we go take a peek on what's been going on over there. Maybe check our mail wall right here. Nothing too new, just some happy home stuff. We got a rank B, which is pretty good. And some new music, and that's really about it. But it is autumn because I am in the southern hemisphere on orange. So it's looking really nice with the new autumn colors. Even back there, like, looks really nice. It's just... There's something really satisfying about the color scheme of Orn and having it be autumn. I would like to see it when the trees are a little bit more red, but I don't know if we actually passed that season. So maybe for the dream address, I'll find the, the time where the trees have a little bit of a red tint to them and then add it in. But I just love the color palette of, of this season. It just looks so good. Ooh, Vesta's hanging out. Hi, Vesta. Kuri, where have you been? Is everything okay? Let me guess. I bet you've been hiding out reading a good book. If I'm right, you have to share it with me when you're done. Alright. Alright, Vesta. Sounds good. Brofina's hanging out. Just singing some music. I still have not fixed my trees over here, but that's okay. The only bummer about the fall is I feel like these hedges look a little bit dull. I would like to see them... I don't know, more vibrant in the fall than the kind of muted brownish color they are. They have a nice gradient to them though. So, um, you'll notice that everything over here is pretty much the same, but if we head up to the carnival area, <laughs> there's been a few changes and there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. Uh, this is my doing. I was making room and I have a full inventory because we're doing a whole rearrangement up here for tin. So. I am putting down some pathways for the Orn area, and we actually removed the float that was right here. So that's kind of exciting, but... Oh, and a little mushroom is growing. That's cute. But I decided to have the floats be on, like, a little bit of a water ride. Because I thought they would be kind of cute as a featured water ride in the amusement park area. So they kind of come out of this little tunnel. There's like an illusion of them coming out of that tunnel. And then they kind of float on down and go into this tunnel back here, which is pretty cool. So we have the little brick blocks there to kind of show that they're gonna go under it. Even if they're a little tall, it's fine. The feathers can bend. And then I will have some carnival games. I think we're gonna redo this and make it a little bit more flat. We'll still have some water for the waterfall feature, but kind of get some carnival games lined up. So we'll have the basketball, we'll have Stitch's house, which will have like kind of a little circusy field going on back here. I think that would be really cute. And let's actually go check in on Stitch's. Oh, he's crafting something. Something amazing happened while you were gone. Guess what it was, I'll tell you. I bet that Lucha could eat my weight in shrimp tempura, and he said he couldn't. Lucha was right. I only got like 12 pounds in before I reverse snacked all over the place. Oh no, that sounds gross. Anyway, welcome home. <laughs> Stitches. I think reverse snacked must be that he threw it up because he ate too many. A golden dung beetle. Okay. One of the bugs on the floor. I bet it was a dung beetle that was on the floor. So I gotta build it before I even forget what it is. Wait, how come I already know how to make this one? I guess I'll give it to Tin. Thanks, Stitches. It'd be great if a bunch of folks learned how to make a golden dung beetle. Well, that was uh, quite a conversation we had after not seeing him for like a month. I like how he's still wearing his Christmas outfit too. So yeah, maybe today what we can do is kind of fill out this path that I had started and never finished. And I want to make like a little eating area over here, but I haven't decided exactly how it's going to look. The only bummer about the way this is set up is technically this is on the third tier. So we really can't decorate the top of this mountain very well. It's going to be kind of plain. So I don't know if 
that's going to make a huge difference in what we want to do or if it's fine. Because really we just want a barrier to make it look like that this float is coming out of. But yeah, why don't we uh, put some paths down? I realized I didn't have a shovel, so I couldn't even uh, dig up some of the things that I needed. So this is a good chance for us to clear out our inventory as well as maybe make some room. Hmm, let's sell some stuff. Do 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 do. I guess I don't need this tree branch. I have plenty of trees. <laughs> we have so many trees in our pocket. I guess we don't really need them. Even the weeds, we could probably get rid of some of them, but I'll keep them just in case. But yeah, that should be plenty. Sounds good. All right, so let's go into here and buy ourselves a shovel, which is what we came here for. And I'm kind of thinking about getting that little lava lamp. I don't know where I would put it, but I feel like it would fit in the carnival area. Awesome. All right, let's head back. Actually, before we head back, I kind of want to see what this whole area looks like in the fall because I haven't really looked at it. Like even, even this ground, like the orange sign against the kind of yellowish green is kind of cool looking. It's very unique. Ooh, we got the stalls here. Oh, Cherry's home. <gasps> Wait a minute, isn't it Cherry's birthday today? I think it's Cherry's birthday. We should definitely get her a present. Let's go do that. Let's. It's Cherry's birthday. We gotta celebrate her birthday. Hold on, we're going back to Nooks. So let's get her some... I almost called it toilet paper, and I know that's not right. <laughs> let's get her some toilet paper. No, we're gonna get her some wrapping paper. We'll go with the gray one, because she's kind of a, a grayscale type of pooch besides her bright red I guess that doesn't really make sense but that's fine so out of these things what would cherry like I feel like she she would make some cherry pies or something so let's go buy her a mixer isn't that nice or we could just give her a bunch of pumpkins would that be rude I hear they like pumpkins or fossils she has the basic house so giving her furniture doesn't actually make a difference so let's wrap that up real quick there we go let's go give it to her Oh, The two original villagers having a birthday party together. Boots and Cherry. I guess they're the closest friends since they've been here this whole time. Cherry, you look so cute in your dress. It's so awesome to have you here. Gotta have all my friends around or it's not a real party. Oh, um, no pressure, but did you bring me a present? I certainly did. What happens if you say no? Wow, you've got some real rapping talent. I almost hate to wreck this, but I gotta see what's in here. Yes, I had my eye on a stand mixer for like ever. You're amazing. That present rocks so hard. Thanks. No problem, Cherry. I'm so happy you came out to party. Thanks for everything. No problem, Cherry. Cherry seems so happy. It makes me happy when my buddies are happy. Munchy. Aw. I really like boots. Yeah, have a good one, Cherry. I got stuff to do. I hope you like your present. So I kind of am going to steal this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally taking that popcorn machine for the carnival. Wow, in the fall with the fall trees, it looks so good. I kind of wish I had another yellow heart instead of the pink heart over there, but... <sighs> There's something just so satisfying about autumn and the autumn colors. Maybe next week we can finally start getting Sampy's library built. That would be kind of fun. Or, you know, finish this park up here that I still have no idea what to do with. So many things to do, so little time. And our orchard is looking really good now that all the trees have grown back. Got the cherries and the peaches. I actually really like that the fruit colors of the leaves are matching each other. Is that standard? No, because this cherry is different. Interesting. I wonder what determines the color of the leaves for fall. But I really, really like this area. This is like just such a cute spot. It's very picturesque. You can take like a lot of photos here. These blue hyacinths don't really match, but they're there anyway. Maybe we'll make a proper garden area, like a rainbow garden. What is CJ doing down there? <laughs> he looks like a giant, like giant beaver. He's destroying the town. Oh, I missed. Gosh, way to ruin the illusion, CJ. It's kind of funny though. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. Okay, I'm gonna put some of our extra stuff in storage and we'll see if we even have room for it. And then we'll go back to adjusting our carnival area. So like all of this stuff we can just put away. I also, did I do anything in this area yet? What was this gonna be? It's nothing! I think this is gonna be a kitchen. 
Well, now we can head back to the carnival. I think this might be the fastest way to go. There. Sneaky, sneaky. Just hop across, get out our handy ladder, and go on up. Maybe, maybe this wasn't the best idea. I need a vaulting ball. <laughs> But something to know, it would be nice to have a bridge right here, so... Cool. Alright, let's go back to, to our hard work over here. Alrighty, well, it started raining while we were working on this, but... I've kind of revised this area quite a bit, just from goofing off and trying stuff out. I don't know how much of it I'll keep, but I figured this is a good start. I'd like this entry area to have some benches along here to sit at. Maybe a little, like you know, snack spot. I, we do have some snacks in the back over there. We have the popcorn machine. So I kind of am thinking that that will be kind of the dining area. But if you go across here, we have this cute little railroad. And I kind of want to put like a railroad train car back here where these trees are. Because unfortunately, we can't really go any higher because we're on the third tier. So I figured that would be kind of a fun little, like a circus train just kind of sitting back here might be a really nice little feature to fill out that space. But for now, the trees are just fine. And then when we cut back here, we have our little stall for some snacks. I figure I'll add more snacks along here as we go and maybe some sitting, sitting area stuff over here. So some tables and chairs, maybe a bench or two. But yeah, so that's what's going on back here. And of course, no carnival is complete without carnival games, which is tins in my favorite. So... We have our little pick up your duck game right here. So I don't know if you guys have gone to carnivals, but here you can pick up a duck and it'll say small, large, or medium on the bottom. And that's the what determines the prize you get. So that's the little ducky game. We also have the classic basketball game. That's usually a really, really high hoop that you have to try to shoot within like one or two shots. And then we have some darts over here. I do plan on ordering more dart machines for tin. So we can have three nice and lined up here, and you can kind of stand right here and throw them out there. I'll probably put another little wall in right here just to kind of keep it safe for any of the carnival goers. But in front of every prize stand, there is one of these carnival or festival dance stages. I figured it's really bright, and it's a nice way to kind of tell people, hey, here's where you can get your prizes. So we'll, we'll figure out which prize goes for each of them as we go. I do want to put a little ring toss area over here that I have a ring toss for, but I do plan on making the stalls for it and putting some sand so they can kind of like throw it down the lane. And I think that'll look really good, but that is really about it for this Orn update. I hope you guys have been enjoying the carnival section update. Let me know if you have any fun ideas that you want me to include. I definitely am open to changing things around and making it extra fun but I think so far we have a really really good start so but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an incredible rest of your day and I will see you on the next one bye